Julia Turing is amazing, the package mainly used for probabilistic programming. In this video, I am going to show you how to use this awesome Julia package with an example. First, let us load some packages that we need to simulate a coin flip. And to visualize our results, I use the stats plots Julia package. We configure the data generating model. Let us set the true probability that a coin flip turns up heads and set the number of coin flips we will show our model. We simulate n coin flips by drawing n random samples from the Bernoulli distribution with success probability p true. The draws are collected in a variable called data. We can investigate the first five coin flips in the data vector. Suppose we are uncertain about the probability of a coin landing heads. To build an intuitive understanding of updating our beliefs, we will visualize how the probability of heads evolves with each observed piece of evidence. We start by defining a prior belief about the probability of heads in a coin toss. For this, we use a beta distribution as the prior. Initially, before observing any flips, we assume a uniform distribution for the probability of heads, meaning all probabilities are equally likely. In each iteration, we add one more coin flip to the model, starting with the first flip and ending with all flips. We update our belief by adjusting the beta distribution based on the observed heads and tails. This is straightforward because the beta distribution is a conjugate prior. Note that a closed form posterior, as implemented in updated underscore belief, is rare for more complex models. The animation shows how our belief about the probability of heads gradually adjusts toward the true value as more evidence is observed. The orange line represents the true probability of heads, while the distribution's mode reflects the model's belief based on the observed evidence. Now we use Turing to specify the same model and to approximate the posterior distribution with samples. To do so, we first need to load Turing. We also load MCMC Chains, a library for analyzing and visualizing samples used to approximate the posterior distribution. First, we define the coin flip model using Turing. In the Turing model, the prior for P probability of heads and the distribution of observations Y are defined on the right-hand side of the tilde expressions. The et model macro transforms the body of the Julia function coin flip replacing the tilde statements with internal function calls for sampling. Here we defined a model that is not conditioned on any specific observations, as this allows us to easily obtain samples of both P and Y. After defining the model, we approximate the posterior distribution by drawing samples using a Hamiltonian Monte Carlo sampler. Once sampling is complete, we can visually compare the closed form posterior with the approximation obtained using Turing. As we can see, the samples obtained with Turing closely approximate the true posterior distribution.